We're going to play City or Country now. This is a chance to profile your fellow viewers uh, just by the looks of them. Does he look like a city person? Does he look like a country person? Does he act like a city person or a country person? Now, uh, the, the, the circle, I guess it's a circle, uh, a, the square-like circle, uh, inside that circle is city, and outside that circle is country. And after much debate, We've decided that even if a piece of the city is in the circle, it still counts. Like Minnetonka is half and half, that can be city. Right. Okay. This is totally... We don't uh, need any fights happening. Totally arbitrary rules here. We're going to keep uh, our cool. First, we're going to profile Marty. What's your name? Marty. Marty, very cute baby you got there. Yeah, it's Carlos. Carlo, Carlos, you're a very cute baby. Very quiet also. Yes. You're very lucky. Yes. So what do you do for a living? I work in security. Okay. And uh, so tell me a little bit about yourself. How do you spend your weekends when you're not hanging out here? Uh, my son plays traveling basketball, my daughter's a swimmer, so I'm pretty busy with them. Oh, wow, all right, so you're going to practices, <laughs> yeah. and okay, you're, at, you're at pools all day. Yeah. You're a busy guy. Yeah. So what part of town you live in? All right. Easy. Easy? Country. Easy? You know, you, you realize you start them all off with easy. Why? They, Why they is, all are easy. Why is this easy? I mean, what, what makes you say country? Because you listen to how he talks, he's got that thick Minnesota accent, he's, he, he sounds just like an old country guy. Okay. So you say See, country. Now I'm gonna say the whole baby thing that is the uh, hangover movie. Right. Carlos, baby. So he may be a Vegas fan if he likes the hangover movie. And I think a lot of city folk, they're like, no, it's a weekend. We're right by the airport. Let's head to the head to the sweet. But the city hangover was like ten years ago. So uh, So he probably got reference. that from it's the consignment shop. Still amazing. Okay, so Dan says country, Kelsey says city. Uh where's Marty live? St. Paul, East Side. All right, man. Good to meet you. Thanks. No way. East side of St. Paul. No You can't way. get any more country than that. <laughs> uh, what about you, Casey? Let's hear from Casey. So what's your name? Casey. And what do you do, Casey? I'm an intern for the Swarm. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. So what is being an intern uh, for the most awesome lacrosse team in America like? Uh, it's fun. I mean, I get to work with the kids, the youth league they have, and I get to be at all the games. So it's, it's pretty exciting, actually. Okay. And then what? What happens after the internship's over? Um, I don't know, hoping to maybe get a full-time job with them. Or okay, maybe, maybe own the team. Maybe own the team, yeah, I'd be in, I'd be in favor of that. All right, so uh, where are you from? See, now these interns, I know, throw everything off. Because we've had interns mm -hmm. from three hours away from here right. who drive in for their internship. Well, I'm guessing if he was interested enough in lacrosse that he wanted to come to an internship, he probably played in high school. And since lacrosse is a fairly new sport to high schools here in Minnesota, it started in some of the bigger cities first and has worked its way out as a club sport. Spreading its tentacles. I think he must be from a city if he's if he played in a league. Wow. All See, right. this one is not so easy because I feel like he's got the look of, of a city slicker, of, of he's out on they the town. They sell blazers at malls in the country, too. I understand that, but he, just his look and, and his swagger and what have you. <laughs> but I feel like he kind of talks a little country. I am going to say city. You say city, and let's hear from Casey. City or country? I'm from Prior Lake. All right, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Perfect Prior, city. Prior Lake. Prior Lake, not city. No, it is city. It is Mystic city. Lake is right there. Is no, it inside the circle? That is not. Is it in the circle? The circle is what matters here. But <sighs> so it kites country and another one you're wrong. All right. Uh, how about Michael? Hey. Michael. And uh, you enjoying your weekend so far? Perfect. Okay. So tell me, what? Uh, tell me something about yourself. I want to get to know you a little better. Other than the fact that your breath is delicious. Thank you. I love information. I love new things. I love new people. I love not knowing, but figuring things out. Okay. What's okay. the last thing you figured out? Uh, the new information about the Godzilla movie. Okay. Tell me all about it. Uh, basically, it's a natural disaster in 1954. He was actually seen, but they blamed the Hiroshima bomb on trying to get rid of him. So there's been small sightings. The tsunamis across the world are actually him. All of these natural disasters are him. So what the government does, knowing that he's coming, they start creating these aberrations called MUTOs, right. taking two different types of things, and it gets out of control. They're basically in a vial, perfect for what's happening right now in our country based on the lack of control, but wanting to constantly control what nature is doing. Perfect movie for 2014. So you know it's fake, right? Absolutely not. I'm 110% bought into it. <laughs> I'm pumped for this movie. Uh, where are you from? <laughs> you go, okay, it's over, you guys. Wake up. Uh, so huh? well, you weren't huh? intrigued by the Godzilla talk? Uh, Nothing on it? Really good power nap. Okay, wow. so, uh, so Michael, city or country, what do you think? Uh, 
<laughs> Michael has, has the desolate tones that just soothe you to yeah. sleep. Uh, he's from the city. You're from the city. From the city. No, 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 no. If you're searching for Godzilla or Bigfoot or anything like that, you got to live out in the country. You're searching through the woods. He probably thinks Godzilla lives in the forest behind his house. <laughs> I'm going to say that he is from the country. All right. Uh, where's Michael from? I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. Wow. City. Yes. Local kid. <laughs> Local kid. Looking for Godzilla in all the wrong places. I was fascinated by the Godzilla talk. I thought of you guys course for sure you would learn so much. 